Hello, this is Ed Hamler with an LPAC update. After reviewing Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke's antics at the National Press Club yesterday, the question that has to be posed is, is Ben Bernanke about to be dumped? Quantitative easing was the subject of that event yesterday, and Bernanke was singing its praises and continuing to push for more of this hyperinflationary bailout process despite the real facts of the matter having already been outlined recently in the FCIC report, that this entire bailout process is indeed a big, fat fraud. But not all in attendance were in awe of the god of monetarism. A question rang out from an attendee confronting Bernanke on the reality of the skyrocketing food prices, especially in Tunisia and Egypt, and wanted to know from Bernanke if this rise in food prices was one of the sources of the incredible unrest in the region right now, given that it is the quantitative easing policy and the Fed's large-scale asset purchases that has sparked much of this inflation. After a bunch of hand-waving and not-so-artful dodging, Bernanke came right out and blamed food price inflation on excess demand. I think it's entirely unfair to attribute excess demand pressures in emerging markets to U.S. monetary policy because emerging markets have all the tools they need to address excess demand in those countries. Yeah, tools, like collapsing governments and food shortages. We have tools in America, too. They're called Ben Bernanke's. Now, according to the economics of Bernanke, Very poor people in very poor countries who are very hungry are the cause of food inflation. But in real economics, it's very stupid people in the United States that cause food inflation. And those are the people who should not occupy the Fed chair, but should occupy a wheelchair somewhere surrounded by a bunch of padded walls. So, the question still remains. Is Bernanke about to be dumped? Well, everything's certainly ripe for that. Linda LaRouche uh, has forecast the crisis that's now upon us and provided its solution in Glass-Steagall. The FCIC report is the first government document that documents the collapse that LaRouche has been warning about, and every time Bernanke opens his mouth, he's securing a death wish for this entire nation. And last time I checked, the American people still wanted to live. So we at LaRouche Pack agree the American people should live. And that means it's time for Bernanke to go now. But before he goes, he should clean himself up a little bit. Bernanke is in real need of a shave. Take off that beard. And if that doesn't work, take off the head. Ah, That's what we'll call quantitative easing from now on. Removing the weight of the head from the poor burden of the shoulders. And it should be very easy, because there's nothing quantitative or very much qualitative in that thing that sits on top of Bernanke's shoulders. So, that's all we have for now. This is your LPAC update. Uh, We'll have more for you later. And this is Ed Hamler signing off.